What's going on everyone and welcome back to another tips and tricks video for the PS5. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what happens when you turn on the PlayStation 5 for the very first time. There's actually a very special system startup that only happens once. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like today and we'll also be taking a look at some of the basic menu options in the PlayStation 5 dashboard. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. there it goes. That was the first time startup that only happens once. Pretty cool. So now that I've gone through the initial setup and we've made it to the system dashboard, we are going to go ahead and press the PS button to log in. And as you can see, we are able to choose our user pretty much right away. But really quick tip, you can press the menu button on your controller to get the stealthy login options, which is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Now, very quickly in this video, I did also want to point out specifically for the new users how to access the quick menu or control center on the PS5, because you actually do not need to hold down the PS button. Otherwise, it's just going to do nothing except for turn off the controller. So what you need to do is simply press the PS button once and there you go. Now, a couple key features on the control center are first, the power options. This is where you can either turn off, restart, or put your PS5 to sleep. Then you have the user option, which will let you change your online status. You can log out, you can switch users and such. And then we have the accessory option, which is where you can either turn off your controller or check battery life or something like a headset, which I am using, you can see. Then we have the microphone options, which is where you can quickly change the microphone type or adjust your levels. Sound settings for changing and adjusting your output device. As you can see, I am using the Pulse wireless headset. And then we have our network settings, which will let you view and change your connection options. And then you have notifications. So if you get any messages or invites, you can see them here. And you even have the option to enable a do not disturb, which will mute all the pop-ups really cool. Then we have what's called the switcher, which is similar to quick resume, and it gives you a few options to either close out the game that you're currently playing, or you can continue exactly where you left off. And then that brings us to the home button, which is pretty self-explanatory. But another really quick tip, you can actually customize your command center by simply pressing the options button, which will let you quickly select which features and functions that you want to use in your command center. But yeah, there you guys have it. Now you know exactly what happens when you turn on your PlayStation 5 for the very first time. And hopefully you also found this quick overview of the Command Center useful as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, do not forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.